One of the first displays of the weekend was the helicopter launch and deployment of Aden Limbert's paraglider. This was the first time this feat had been attempted in the Southern Hemisphere, with only a handful of paraglider pilots worldwide having mastered the technique. Aden Limbert, it looks so simple. It took five years to work out how to do that. Five years, 60 months. I understand there, Jim, that one of the problems was when he jumps out, you can't have the, the lines to the canopy snap taut too quickly. Precisely. The, uh, unlike a parachute, the lines on a paraglider are very fine, 0.5 mil, 0.75, and if it opens suddenly, as a parachute will, they will snap. So they've actually devised a bag system which slows the opening of the paraglider sufficiently to ensure the lines don't snap, which you can't see from the ground, but which he is acutely aware of because he's been involved in the development of the process for five years, is that the launch from the chopper was actually delayed, slowed sufficiently to ensure the safety of his aerofoil. Apparently, Graham, the first time, or the, shall we say, the, the idea was conceived when somebody launched Paraglider B from Paraglider A. And the human mind being what it is, somebody else said, well, if you launch a Paraglider from a Paraglider, why don't you launch from a helicopter? Easy to say, but very hard to do. And you have seen something that no one south of the equator has seen before. Cruising into touchdown. <laughs> Aidan Limbert, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Doing something that looks easy but was years in the development.